Rough Riders start a series against the San Antonio Missions today, and we're joined by manager Jason Wood. And Jason, after a tough one on Friday night, Jared Eikhoff gave you everything you could have asked for last night, didn't he? Absolutely. That's uh, the start we needed, and a start that, that we've been used to seeing lately as of uh, with, with Jared. So that was one that was definitely um, working well for him. He had everything working, kept those guys off balance, and uh, we needed that start for him to go deep in the game like he did last night, give us seven solid innings, and uh, the bullpen to the rest. You got a little help from the rehabbers, too. Giovanni Soto and Jim Adusi had two base hits each. It's good to see them playing again and getting a little bit closer to Arlington. I'm sure the Rangers were happy with the, the production they saw last night from those two. Absolutely. I think that uh, what, what Adusi did in the middle of the lineup and then uh, for, for Soto to drive in that run to hit a double in a big situation last night was huge for us. You know, they're... They're working back to get into the major leagues, and this is uh, where they're going to be for the next few days. Even though the major league team's going on an all-star break, it's time for them to get out and start working, and they're doing a good job and have been great around the clubhouse. It's been great to have them, and uh, the contribution they gave last night was great. It's been a busy week in terms of transactions. Uh, you have the big league rehabbers along with Angel Beltre, who played a game with us, and then three players that have independent baseball, which is very unusual, uh, especially over the last couple of years with the way the Rangers have done things. But here you've got JT Wise, Eric Hammerin, and Brody Downs. How do you foresee those three with their role here with this team moving forward? Well, the good thing about the three of them, even though they're coming from, so to speak, independent ball, they've all got pretty good at least double-A, some triple-A, and even a little bit of big league experience. So... That often, in a sense, will help. So we're looking forward to that and um, seeing what Wise does. We'll have him in the DA spot tonight. He can he can catch, play a little bit of first base. He's got some sock in his bat. And, you know, with, with Brody and, and Eric, they're two veteran-type pitchers out of the bullpen, so they're going to add relief and help to our bullpen as we go along with this. I'm not sure how familiar you are with Brody's story in particular, but he's got a really unusual past. He hasn't played in affiliated baseball since 2009. Of course, he's one of the older guys on the team now, but it would be a, a pretty incredible story if this works out for him. Timing couldn't be better, in a sense. So I think that uh, he's uh, going to fit in real well here, and he logged uh, a couple innings for us the other night when we needed it. And um, he's got the three-quarter arm slot, can do a lot of things with the baseball. So we're looking for some good things out of Brody. We're here with Rough Riders manager Jason Wood. Friday night you had to make the decision to use a position player to pitch in that ball game. First time that the team has been put in that situation uh, over the course of the season. They're actually fairly late for something like that to happen for a first time, it seems like. But uh, explain what goes on into making a decision, say, okay, I'm going to try and give my pitchers a little bit of a break here and go to Rodriguez. Well, it's a case where we, we don't know um, exactly. We do know how the game is going, and we don't know what we want to get out of our bullpen. So we want to save that bullpen in a sense. So we, we get G-Rod out there and, and uh, does a pretty good job of, of getting, a, getting us through an inning when we needed it most. And so we can come back and, and salvage a series the next day and have our bullpen somewhat fresh. So that was a big, big job by G-Rod. And uh, it's nothing new to him. I know he's done it in the past. And so um, it was didn't take much for me just to ask him. And he knew. He has a good feeling about the way the game was going. So he knew he could do it for an inning. And, and it was nice to have him do that. Did that bring back any memories of uh, June 29th, 2007, a little game with the Marlins and the Braves? Absolutely. In fact, I called G-Rod in my office the next day and showed him the video of uh, myself throwing against the Atlanta Braves when we were getting beat 12-1 to through 11 pitches and got, uh, got three out. So it was nice um, to do it at the big league level. Too bad we took a loss that night, but uh, it's something in my memory that I'll never forget. How did that come about, and how did you become the guy that got the ball in that situation? Well, I was just happened to be at the end of the bench, and Freddie came. Freddie Gonzalez, the manager at the time, came down to the end of the bench, and as he started walking, I had a good inclination on what was going on, just to see the the way the game was going. And he asked uh, he asked me if I had an inning in me, and I said absolutely. He said go down there in the bullpen and get loose, and we'll call you in the ninth. I said okay, so went down there, and it's funny. I walked in the bullpen, and the bullpen was actually happy to see me come down there, know, knowing that I was going to go in and pitch, and didn't have to be them on a hot swinging Braves team that night. So. Um, but it went well. Like I said, 11 pitches and got uh, the likes of Kelly Johnson, Jeff Francoeur, and, and uh, Brian McCann out. So good ending to a series, I guess. How much do you have to ice the arm down after an outing like that? Only 11 pitches, so that was a good part of it. Yeah, it wasn't so much the, the arm. It's more or less the shoulder blades and the, and, and the thigh area from the pushing off. So there were some, uh, some muscle issues going on there. I didn't realize that I actually had to use when you throw a baseball. But uh, we got through it and um, was out there the next day. When was the last time you had pitched prior to that? I'd done so in the minor leagues. Uh, in AA, I did it a couple times, and I, I think I've thrown three innings in the Pacific Coast League. So 
it wasn't anything completely or extremely new. I knew I wasn't going to go out and try to fire the ball past anybody. I was thrown to Miguel Olivo. He threw a couple knuckleballs, a couple curveballs, got them out on their front foot, was thrown below radar speed, and uh, one thing you know, we were out of there. It's been a big week for former Rough Riders. A, a ton of names got called up to the big leagues for the first time over the last week. Roman Mendez, Ryan Fearbin just the other day, Kyle Hendricks, Jake Smolinski and Matt West, two players that were on this team to start this season. I know you're very happy for all those former players that have gotten a chance to gone up, but especially with the way Smolinski has produced over this week, you probably couldn't be any happier. You know, I, I, I can't. It, it says a lot for the Rangers developmental system. Some of these guys that uh, are on the big leagues now, came up through our system like the Kyle Hendricks. And so even though they're not with us, to see that we uh, did a good job of preparing them for that, it's good to see them contribute at the big league level and couldn't be happier for each and every one of them. And Jake Smolinski has done a great job, and, and hopefully he keeps it going. And I'm sure that's a great carrot for all those guys out there in the dugout and in the clubhouse to see a guy who was on this team just two, three weeks ago now in Arlington. Oh, no doubt. And we talk about that all the time, that uh, the opportunity is, is there and never so more than it is right now. So there's always somebody watching. Always be prepared and give it your best every day. And I think that uh, that's the way they're going about their business because that opportunity could come at any given time, maybe not for the Rangers, but for another big league affiliate. So try to get that point across as much as we can. Well, Jason, congratulations on the role that you have had in helping those guys get up there. Congrats on the win last night, and best of luck out there today. All right, Alex, thanks a lot. That's Rough Riders manager Jason Wood. We're back right after this on the Frisco Rough Riders Baseball Network.